Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. So first off, as you guys can tell, I have a different background right now and I'm actually filming at home. I'm not filming at the studios, but I ordered a couple of the seamless paper backdrops and also Joel just left and I completely rearranged my whole room and forgot to have him rehang my canvas photo that you guys see behind like above my vanity. So this whole week when he's gone, I'm gonna be having to film with the seamless backdrops just until he gets here. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble if I put a hole in the wall. So yeah, I gotta wait till he can come back and hang that up. But don't worry, I will still be doing most of my videos with my vanity backdrop. I just also like doing a couple with just a plain one. I think it's really fun and kind of changes things up. I have a purple one, a kind of teal one, and a baby blue one. And also like kind of a, a pretty sea foam green one that was supposed to be mint but that's not what it came out to be. So that will be an interesting one. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below which color backdrop you guys want to see next because I'll be filming a ton this week because I'm going to be at home this week. But now back to the video. So today's video is actually a collaboration with another YouTuber, Cassie. Her channel name is Shades of Cassie. She's got a really great channel. I love it. She's got like dupes, favorites videos, makeup tutorials. She's absolutely gorgeous and has such a sweet personality. So I think you guys will really, really love her. I'm gonna have her channel linked down below for you guys. And in our videos today, we're both gonna be doing our top five favorite highlighters, which I'm super excited about because I've never done this video and yeah, I have a lot of favorite highlighters that are staples in my collection that I'm excited to share with you guys. So if you guys wanna check out her video as well, make sure to click the link down below. And also, if you guys are heading over to her channel, make sure to leave this little emoji right here because we know how much I love the emojis. So that way she knows that you guys are coming from my channel. Also, if you're brand new to my channel, coming over from Cassie's channel, hello, welcome, my name is Madison. Feel free to subscribe right here. And also don't forget to hit the little bell as well if you wanna get notified for future videos. And now let's go ahead and see what my top five highlighters are. Yes. Okay, so for highlighter number one that I'm absolutely obsessed with, you guys probably already know what this is because I've talked about it a ton on my channel, but it is the Natasha Denona Glow Highlight in number 01 Light. This is gorgeous. First off, the packaging is super pretty. It's a gorgeous mirror rose gold packaging. And then when you open it up, oh, I'm opening it up backwards. When you open it up, you have this really huge mirror too, and then there is your product. It is absolutely stunning. I definitely recommend the shade if you are fair to medium skin tone. I believe she's got three different shades, and I know Sydney loves 03 because she's got a deeper, darker skin tone, and I always see her using that one, but this is absolutely stunning, you guys. This is a really subtle, pretty highlight that gives you this kind of healthy glow from within look. I love it because it doesn't make you look like a grease ball and it doesn't make you look like a disco ball either, which is really awesome. I think it's the perfect median and I think it's perfect for everyday highlight that just really makes your skin look healthy and glowy and it's just stunning. I really, really love this highlight. Also, what I really love about it is that it's a very fine highlight that doesn't emphasize any texture or any pimples that I have right there because I I will get texture right here and sometimes I break out right there very rarely but when I do I notice that this one doesn't really emphasize it because the texture is so fine it's not like a chunky highlight and also what's really awesome about it too that even though it's a really fine highlight it doesn't crumble in the pan there are so many out there that do crumble in the pan which is so unfortunate I still have like a few of like my, my favorites are one of those ones but this one, I just love that I can count on it not to break on me because it is like pressed in there like concrete, like not going anywhere. So I really, really love that about it. It's an absolutely stunning highlight. You can get it at Sephora. Highly recommend it. It is just gorgeous. All right, so for highlight number two, we have the balm. So we know I've been obsessed with the balm lately, like absolutely obsessed, but this one I have loved for a very long time. I remember when I ordered this back in 2012, I just remember that because I really got into makeup back in 2012 and I was working in Irvine and they had the bomb. The bomb always goes on sale on whole look. You guys check whole look. You can get the stuff so cheap. That's where I purchased a lot of the stuff from the bomb. And I actually bought this one a long time ago. And this is a newer one because my other one was just like, Ugh, it was just nasty. But this one is gorgeous. This is the Balm Mary Luminizer. They have three different shades. I was trying, I have the highlight palette that's also really great, but I can't find it. 
and this backdrop is sitting in front of all my makeup and it's just making it impossible for me to get in the drawers. But I was able to grab this one right here and this is such a highly pigmented highlight, you guys. Oh my God, this one is perfect for fair medium skin tones and it is intense. Like, let me tell you, right now the lights are just gonna soften everything because I've got boards next to me so you're not really gonna see the bamness to it, but trust me on it, you guys, it's intense. It is so pretty, so intense, absolutely gorgeous. It's very creamy and buttery inside too. It's not chunky. It goes on like, it seriously does. Like it feels like butter when you're putting it on your skin. It's so smooth and so pretty. Yeah, this is definitely gorgeous on the cheekbones, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out on Holt Look. If you guys, they have an app like for iPhone or Android and it's linked with like Nordstrom's Rack. That's who like owns it. And the balm is always on sale on there. So definitely keep your eyes out for it. Okay, so for highlight on number three, I have my loves. These are my loves. I wanted to show all of them. I was able to get all of them from back there. They are the Lorac Light Source Highlighters. They are amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have every single shade that you can get in the Lorac ones. So pretty. My favorite for being fair is Starlight. Starlight is absolutely stunning. I'm really in love with these light cream highlights because I am so fair. They look the best on my skin tone. These again are very, very fine. Like honestly, I would even say that the Balm Mary Luminizer is a good dupe for this one, but oh, Look at, just look at that. Now that's gorgeous. I remember I was putting this on my cheekbones in the studios and one of the guys was like, what highlight are you wearing? And I was like, it's a Lorac. And he was like, oh my God, really? I need to write it down so I can buy it for my wife. And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing. I rave about Lorac all the time and it's because their products are formulated so well. These are so creamy, buttery, pigmented they are very finely milled again to where they're not chunky on the skin where they're not going to emphasize any texture which is amazing and i love that about them they are just gorgeous you can get these at ulta i believe and i i'm not sure about kohl's but i know you can get them at ulta they are gorgeous let me swatch the other ones for you this one right here is called twilight and this one has a little bit more of a beigey tone to it. Put that over here so you can see. It's got a little bit more of a golden tone to it. Oh, that one's pretty. I would even like that as an eyeshadow. And the next one that I have here is Moonlight. And this one is more of a pinky highlight. This also would be very gorgeous on fair to medium skin tones. Ooh, that would be a really pretty blush topper. And then next up there is Daylight, which is a little bit more of a kind of... How do I describe this one? It's got a little bit more of a peachy tone to it than um, Starlight. It's right there, right here. So pretty. That one would be perfect on medium skin tones. If you have a really pretty tan, this would be perfect. And then they also came out with over the holidays, it came out with, a, I don't know if this one is a limited edition or if they are selling in singles, but it's called Spotlight and it has the rose gold packaging from the holidays. This is really gorgeous. It's a gorgeous rose gold highlight that I think would be really great on deeper skin tones. You can tell right there. It's way too dark for me, but it's perfect for deeper skin tones, you guys. This could also work for me as maybe a bronzer topper or even just put all over like my lid and my eyes just for a really pretty bronzy look, but oh, it's just stunning. Like, look at my hand. It's just gorgeous. And it's like not too crazy over the top. They just look so pretty and smooth. Yeah. All right, so for highlighter number four here, we have this little guy. This is the Becca highlighter in Moonstone and I actually got this in a little set and I fell in love. I actually like this one more than Champagne Pop and more than the other ones that are out because this one looks really well again. <laughs> they're all like the same shade. It just looks so good on fair and I am so pasty right now, you guys. Like I need a tan. I need just a little bit of a tan but it just looks so good on fair skin tones. Like it's so pretty. I even like to use this as like a brow highlight too. And again, these ones are very, very creamy, very thin, very finely milled. They're not gonna emphasize texture. They just look really, oh, look at that. That is just so pretty right there. So gorgeous. 
The only down part to the Becca highlighters are they crumble very, very easily. Once you start really working down in the pan, they kind of just crumble on their own, which kind of sucks to be honest because they are so finely milled, which is why I give so many props to the Lorac ones. I give so much prop to like the Natasha Denona one because these are very fine powders too, but they don't crumble on you. These ones do have a tendency to crumble, but they are so, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. This is actually the one that I'm wearing on my cheekbones right now. But again, I have boards. So boards are really going to soften anything here. But it is so stunning. This has been like one of my go-to lately's. But I just want to warn you guys there is that these ones do have a tendency to kind of crumble very easily. Or if you slightly drop them, they can break really easily. I know this because my champagne pop like broke like that. It was no bueno. Okay, so for highlight number five, which is also my last highlight, I wanted to do a cream one because I really love cream highlights, especially in the summertime. And this one is more of expensive. This is the Marc Jacobs one in Spotlight. So this one was actually really hard to find for the longest time because Bella Thorne, I believe, she showed this a ton on her Snapchat and it got really popular. And that's where I saw it and I was like, I need to have this. And yeah, so I finally was able to get my hands on it. I use this one a ton as well. I like to use this one first and then top it off with one of these. I think it works perfectly, but it's such a nice cream highlight that it's just so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I just usually take my finger and then just dab it or I'll even take a stippling brush brush it through here and then slowly work it on the cheeks. But it is an absolutely stunning, stunning cream highlight. I love this one. I also really wanted to share another cream highlight, but I was kind of like, oh, should I share it? Because I don't think you can get it. I think it was limited edition. And this is the Pat McGrath one right here. I had a whole video on this one. She came out with two of them. My favorite one is the one, I think it's nude. Yeah, it's the nude shiny stick. So she's got her cream highlight on top. That is just so pretty too. Like, look at that. Let me just work that in. Oh my gosh. I love the consistency of this. This is so, see, look at that. So gorgeous. It kind of gives you that like wet dewy look that's really popular. And then the other side is a clear one. So you just actually put, you could even just wear this clear one by itself. Look at that gives a really pretty sheen. Or you can go one down first and then top it off with this one and then top it off with her other powder highlight or any powder highlight that you want to set it. But this is absolutely stunning. I love this. If I can find it, I will link it down below. But last time I checked, it's sold out. I believe it's limited edition. I wish you would bring this back as a permanent product because it is so amazing. Like just this alone right here. <sighs> I love it, but that was kind of six highlights, but I really wanted to share that one, but I was scared to because I don't think anyone can get their hands on it anymore, but it's really, really pretty. All right, so those are my five, kind of six favorite top highlighters for you guys. These have been staples in my collection for like the past, I wanna say six months to a year. Yeah, I've been using a lot of these ones for a really long time. I absolutely love them. Highly recommend them. I'm gonna have everything linked down below just in case if you miss any names of anything or you wanna know where to get it. All the info will be in the description box. Also, don't forget to head over to Cassie's channel to check out her top five favorite highlighters. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what your favorite highlighter is because I would love to get your guys' recommendations of things I should go and get my hands on because I'm always down to find a new highlight. I can always expand my highlight collection. So yeah, leave those comments down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Emoji over there. Hey, listen. Oh my God. Look at that, there's my monitor. This is the Becca highlighter in Moon Stone. Not gonna lie, I really hope my backdrop doesn't catch fire. Got a really hot light that's really close to it. Oh, that's not gonna be any good.